going on, everyone? How are you? See, today is Friday, Friday, Friday. Uh, so we'll get going here in a little bit. But in the meantime, as you're uh, logging in today, please, please, please submit a comment. Let us know where you're coming from um, and how you've been doing. So we'll get going here in a little bit. Uh, the things that you'll need today is uh, we're inside. It's a little rainy here, but um, we just need about 10, 15 feet of space. Uh, ideally, we're going to kind of go back to something we've done in the past. So if you have the ability to uh, make a mark on the ice or on the ground similar to this, that would be great. We'll use that later for our stick handling. Um, but kind of the process again here for anybody that's new. I know that there's a bunch of new people that had indicated they'll be here. Um, anybody that's new, the process is we're going to go through a quick warm up uh, and then get into some stick handling stuff. We'll walk you through all of that. So uh, we'll wait for a few more minutes here and then we'll get going. Manchester, England, Lando. We've got Manchester, England in the house. From Manchester, England. That's what they say. Dang. A dang. All right. This is annoying. Bunch of foxes here. Landon's <clears throat> Lannan's here. He's kind of being annoyed. He's waiting for something to. He's waiting for CCM to drop new pads. So. He's, he's kind of, uh, his mind's in a little bit different spot right now. So, all right. So here's, we're going to get going uh, as people start to check in. Um, they can filter through. So, uh, Lando, you ready? Yeah. All right. I is, I'll ever be. All right. So, from here, let's see. Back up a little bit. Okay, so uh, this is a, basically our standard warm-up here. Uh, we're going to do a number of three things, and ultimately it's going to be uh, 20 seconds per, per exercise, and we're just going to just keep rolling right through. Okay, so we're going to work for about four minutes and then take a little bit of a rest and then come back and do it again. So the, the things that we're going to do, and Lana will show you as we go here, but the first one is just going to be a jog in place. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Lando. Okay, so it's just a jog in place, pretty simple. We're going to do that for 20 seconds. And right from there, we're going to get into what we call squat claps. So Landon's going to show you. So your feet are underneath your shoulders. You're going to get all the way to the bottom of a squat. Arm up, arm up, stand up, clap and clap. So we're going to do that for 20 seconds. And then from there, we're going to do high knees. So again, in place, nice and quick feet, high knees. Okay, 20 seconds of that. From there, butt kickers. Okay, so again, heels to your butt. Okay. Then a march. So in space, feet are up, opposite arms are up, smack down back down to the ground. Okay, 20 seconds. Then we'll get into an A skip. So the same, the same format here, but now you're just pushing out through your toes, trying to get vertical, right? So we're we're jumping into space or up into, or jumping up, not out. Um, from there, rotational skips. Okay, so ankles up to your hand, cross your body, and then we'll get into jumping jacks. Okay, 20 seconds of those. Then we'll do cross jacks, so arms out in front, up and over. Feet are switching spots each time. Great job, Landon. And then uh, <clears throat> from there, if we can find a spot on the wall, he's going to face the wall, and he's going to bring his left foot swing in front. So you're going to rotate your hips out. Okay, 20 seconds of that. Then we'll switch. We'll go the right side. Great, for 20 seconds, and then we'll rest. Okay, so we'll rest for a little bit, and then we'll get going back right away. We'll get going right away again. Uh Oil City, Oil City, Pennsylvania, right up the road. RMU in the house. 
Okay, so get ready. We're gonna call those out as we go. Oops. Where is this? Give me a second. I just want to check in again. Camden, what's up, Camden? Connor's back. Okay, and for everybody that emailed me about um, about that additional, like that test training, I'm going to get back to you later today about that. So we got something something in the works. I want to try to get going. So we'll, we will announce it here as well, but um, we will get back to you. Okay, so get ready. Everybody get up. We got 20 seconds. Hang on one second. All right, so we got jog in place for 20 seconds. Get ready and begin. Again, this, this is going to take us about four minutes to get through. The goal here is just to get our body moving, right? Get our blood pumping. It's okay. Get a little bit of a sweat maybe at, towards the end. Okay, squat claps right away. There's no rest in between, right? We're just going to go right away. Just go at your pace. Pick it up a little bit maybe. We got about seven seconds of this, and we're going to jump right into high knees. Okay, high knees, begin. Okay, I'm going to start to elevate our heart rate a little bit. Remember, from high knees, you're going to get right into butt kickers. We got about five seconds left of this, and we'll switch. Butt kickers, begin. Going into A march, two, one, begin. Okay, so we'll go through these again, uh, just a little bit of a warm up. We'll get through here and then get in some and into some stick handling things towards the end, of the second half actually. Okay, a skip coming up. Begin. Miss Cunningham says, go Landon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay, rotational skip. Coming up is going to be your jumping jacks in go. Cross jacks. <clears throat> okay, so from here, when we're finished, again, you're going to find a wall, face the wall, about an arm's length away because you're going to have your hands on the wall. All right, find your wall. Left leg under. Begin. Just swing it through. Open up your hips as you're coming through. Rotate. You're going to switch legs. Begin.
All right, you got a, you got a little bit of a break. We're gonna break for thirty seconds, and we're gonna go back through, and we're gonna do it one more time. Okay, so Landon's gonna go check the CCM post here. Let's see. Let's check in. See who we got. Are you Oilers? Let's see. Who's Coach Joe today? I don't know. He's losing his top fan perk, though. Uh huh. I'd be interested to hear your hockey in Manchester, England. How's that going? Do you play ice or do you play inline? All right, here we go. Getting up. We're going again. Are you ready? Get set with your jog. Actually, hold on. We're going to speed it up this time. Get through. We got 15 seconds of each. Here we go. Ready, begin. Get in the squat clap. Good range of motion. Get all the way to the bottom of your squat. Ready, go. Reach for the sky. Lengthen your spine up. High knees. Butt kickers, go. Did you drink a lot of water today? Yeah, I did. I can hear you sloshing around. That's funny. A march in two, one, begin. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> A skip. I am interested about Manchester. Caleb Westfield Mass. Rotational skip. Plays on ice in England. Love it. Joe Cummings is here. Nice. Oh. He's here. <sighs> Jumping jacks. Begin. They have bigger sheets there, right? I would listen, I guess maybe. I've never been to an ice rink in England. <clears throat> Cross jacks. Claudine, I'm curious, do you guys play on an Olympic sheet or NHL size? That's the question from Landon. Okay, back to your wall. Left leg under. Oh, what is happening? Yeah, Paul, but it's not. Right leg under. It's not CCM call, so I'm not interested at this moment. <laughs> All right, that's it for that. All right. <clears throat> All right, so uh, grab a drink if you want one, and then find your stick, your gloves if you want them, uh, and your space. <clears throat> Again, if we can get into an area where we have uh, the box on the ice. We're just going to go through something to quickly warm up our hands. So for those of us that have been here all along since what now, March 18th or something, we started doing this. Um, so this is something that we did fairly early on. I want to come back to it, but it's just a way to kind of identify different areas around your body to stick handle. So 
as a hand warm up for us. Um, <clears throat> what I'd like you to do is have you stand inside the bottom box in the middle. I'm a lefty, so right here we're going to call this number one, number two, three, four, five. If I was a righty, it's just the other way, right? So as a righty on my forehand side, this is my number one, two, three, four, five. And that way you can just follow along. So what I would like to do here is just a way to stick handle all the way, expansion of reach around our body, right? So what I would like to do is just to warm up our hands, good hockey position here. So our knees are bent, toes over, our, our knees over toes. And I just want to stick handle, go like 10 times in the box on your own in number one. And then move up to number two. Okay, and then just 10 times in number two, and then come to three. Move over to the far. Okay, our feet aren't moving here, right? We're just moving our stick over into five. So five is gonna be kind of hard. You gotta rotate at your hips. Very uncomfortable position. And then come back the other way. Remember, we talked about earlier too, our hands here, our top hand is going to do the work. So we got to be able to cup and control the ball or the puck, whatever you're working on. If you're locked up to have, you know, like a, a synthetic sheet or a nice sliding service with a puck, but your top hand is doing the work, right? We're rotating as we're coming. So we're back here. Okay, go through, go through like, I don't know, go over and back, over, back, do that twice and we'll move on, okay? Just get a little bit of a hand warm up going. Landon's a righty, so he's going to move to the other side. Good. Okay, so again, find out how far, you know, back you can get. Forehand side's pretty easy. Backhand side's going to be a little bit more difficult. But then, you know, you can filter, you can figure out different things to do. So um, again, if this is one, two, three, four, five, you know, maybe stick handle in one for a little bit and then come up to two. And then back to back to one. The rink's Olympic sized. Is it nice? Yeah. And then go one to three, right? So it's a different pattern. One to three. Okay. Two to four. B five to two. Right? Three to one. Three to five. Okay, you can you can challenge yourself here. Okay, in the different areas. So maybe what we'll do here, we'll we'll go like I don't know. We'll go a couple seconds here, and I'll call it out. Okay, so starting one. You're gonna be in one. Okay, so you're go stick handle in one, three, five. Two. Oh, <laughs> that's four. Four. Two. Four. One. One, three, five. <laughs> what? One, three, five. Five. Three. Four. Two. Four. One. Good. Okay, so again, something there just to um, multiple things. Warm up our hands and then also uh, just work around your body, right? So then from there, let's get into 
Uh, <clears throat> I see those. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna again just a little bit of an expansion thing. So uh we'll, from we'll Mexico. Two, Mexico, nice. We'll have two pucks or cones or, or whatever it is. It'll be similar to like two and four here. But what I want to do is maybe have it so it's so just a little bit uh, out. I mean, it's outside your body for sure. Okay. So what I want to do is stand in the middle, high position again, and we're going to stick handle outside our body, underneath whatever that pucker ball is that you have, and then come back outside your body here, pull across. that for a couple times and we're gonna advance or we're gonna um, adjust it from there oh, gosh. thanks for checking in from Mexico okay it's important here too when you're getting outside your body that we're shifting our weight from one side to the other Quick pull across. Oh, come on. Keeps on rolling. All right, go ahead and stop there for a second. Okay, so again, like, we'll just go through a bunch of these things. You guys can, you know, take ones that speak to you and, and come back to them later today as you go. Um, now let's bring those in just a little bit more, okay, just inside, outside of our foot. And the first thing I want to do is I just want to make a figure eight through these things. Uh, we have pucks. So we're just coming through a figure eight. Again, weight transfer to get over, pull it through, and then make sure you go the other way. So like right now, I'm going above the pucks or the cones, right? This time, I want to come below, go the other direction. Again, transfer your weight to get outside that body. Underhandle the puck. So instead of like stick handling to come underneath and then over instead of stick handling, get here, catch, cup and control, backhand, same deal. Underhandle the puck. times as you go go a couple more seconds here and then we'll add on oh. goalie hands goalie hands oh yeah weird okay listen as we go through here again like these are just simple things we can do you know we're all we're all in the same boat right now can't get to the rink um you know we're missing the things that we love but these are things that we can just do away from away from the rink to better our situation it doesn't matter you know 
at some point this quarantine thing is going to end you know we're going to get back to the rink but it doesn't mean that we can't stop doing these things um so go ahead and stop there for a second landon um but again like we do these you know we've been doing these monday wednesday friday 11 uh 11 a.m eastern time okay so we're going to continue to do those right um and if you like what you see like please tell us you know let us know it's, it's nice to know that you're enjoying it you, you find value in it but more importantly like let every let your friends know pass it along um all are welcome right doesn't matter what team you're from what country you're from what state doesn't matter you know we're all hockey players in the same boat and that's our goal is to help everybody kind of get through this but you know find a way to be a better hockey player so uh here we go moral story tell your friends cool kids are doing it okay so same setup this time as we come through in the middle i want to add a quick stick handle and then back down handle continue that process whoops i missed one handle do, 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 do. couple of da, 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 da. Find a rhythm and try to build that speed. Okay. Go ahead. But this time when you go through, try to go the other direction. Okay. Oh, my. It's all right. can't touch it just build into it right slow it down if you're having issues it's okay slow it down it's not a race like quality over quantity and as it becomes easier memory memory muscle memory starts to build in you can start to add a little bit of speed it's outside your comfort zone There you go. Good. So now listen, hockey, right? Most of the time in the game, you're on one foot. So let's replicate that here. So come back to what we were working on previously. Uh, let's try to do it. One foot. So we're going to be one foot. I'm going to choose my right foot. And we're just going to come through. Figure eight. Fight to find your balance. Legs will start to fire, start to burn a little bit, okay? Make sure you're using your top hand to cup and pull. Bottom hand is moving up and down your stick. As you get away, you're getting a much more narrow grip. As I'm coming through, in tight my feet, I widen out my grip a little bit to get nice and close. Go ahead. Switch legs. Okay, and again, you can add, keep what you're doing, and then add that stick handle in the middle. Try it from one foot. All right, so now... Let's move into, let's see. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use this little thing, my daughter's gymnastics thing. So, um, wait. Okay. 
Okay, so let's see. So I have whether well, you can use a stick in front or or use your piece of tape and move your cones down. But we're just gonna build into this. So the sticks, you know, the our obstacles in front, and we're in our hockey position. And I just want to work on well, first we'll build into it. We'll do a yo-yo drill. So on our forehand, we're gonna push the ball or the puck up, catch with our toe, snap it back. So this is like a yo-yo drill, catch, pull back. Okay, so snap it back into your feet, catch, push, pull. Okay, so that would be like step one, right? Step two is now we're gonna pull it back into our feet and then fake or expand out. For me, it's my backhand side. It's gonna be backhand for everybody actually. Pull back across, push, catch, right across your feet. So push, catch, pull. So take a little breather there, okay? Because now we'll add into that again. Okay, so I'm gonna introduce my puck back into the mix or your cone or whatever it is. Same thing, catch, pull it back. This time, under handle, underneath, and then right back, right? So we're here. So as, as opposed to just doing the fake and pulling back across, little backhand, underhandle. And you can push yourself to get outside your body more by moving that pucker ball way out. Very important, weight transfer, get over to reach, and then pull back in as you come back, okay? Go a couple times here. Lando, oh, you're going the other way, yeah. Keep, keep going on that a couple times and then we'll switch, okay? All right, so now let's let's uh, let's try it from the backhand side. Okay, toe drag easy, backhand maybe not much. So come back to the beginning. Okay, so we're gonna have the puck up top. I want you to pull from your backhand side, expand out, catch, stop. Keep going, keep going.
Okay, so now let's put those two together, right? So we're going to kind of blast through the last couple here so we can get on to the next thing. But uh, let's put them together. So we're going to come toe. I want you to fake and then come up and around the other way. Fake. Come up, toe. Fake, up, around, pull it into your body, fake, come back, up, pull in, fake, up. Okay, so there's, there's that. Okay, a couple more here. Anything, Landon? Um, anything, nothing happening over there? No, nothing. Nothing. Okay. So, um, let's move into this. So we'll have our three, we'll have our socks or you don't need them. You can doubt it, but it'll just give you a reference. Okay. So we're standing underneath. So we'll walk the ladder here, um, under handle, right? So our obstacles are in front. Gonna start going clockwise. You got one, two, three. So we're under handling around one, up to two, and trying to reach. So you got to figure out how far your reach is without moving your feet. Here we go. Round one. Pull it in. Two. In. Second person from Mexico. Really. Nice. Try to get around let's get three times each. Okay. And then let's go the other direction. So for me, I'll go back in. Ends up. All right, so if this becomes easy, right, go back again. We said hockey. One foot. One foot. So let's try to isolate one foot and go on one foot. Oh, too much space. Okay, here we go. Try to push yourself, get all the way through on one foot. Good. Okay. A uh, couple more. So we did this on Friday. I liked, I, I liked doing this on Friday, so I'll do it again. Uh, so if you have a wall, you'll use a wall. If you have a partner, you could use a partner. But what we did was we had our obstacle, okay, and we just made a pass off the wall and caught on our backhand side. Okay, catch on your forehand side. 
Add a stick handle. And then you can increase that, right? So as you're coming through and you catch, add bait. Catch. So we have a wall, there's tons of bumps. It doesn't come off, off, it doesn't come off true all the time, which is good. Makes you react. So catch, make your fake, pass back, right? The other thing that we did on Friday that I liked was, if you remember, if you were here, we tried to put the ball up and then tap it down. Right? So up. Woo. And if you don't have, uh, don't have a wall you can use and you have a partner, Lando, can you please? Over there. Just move your stick. Use your hand. On your knees. Move over a little bit. Okay. So back to the beginning could be from here. And then it could be, this one could be tricky where you throw the ball into a space, you're gonna tap it down to our spot, to ourself. Get a couple to the backhand side. Well, that's not that's annoying. Can't end on that one. And then have your stick in here, and your partner is going to choose the way. Have them switch it up in the air on the ground. Oh, that one's back here. Gotta be react. Those pucks down from the point. Oh, that was very really nice. Okay, good. All right, so listen, we uh, so we got we got other. What's up, Valerie? So we got. Uh, We've got other things happening here today, so we are going to finish now. But I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you do, please let us know what you thought. And uh, we'll be back on Monday, uh, Monday, 11 a.m. Eastern time. So figure those out. You can always come back and watch. But we love to see um, those live view, those live viewers that can check in, like to see those numbers. But pass it along. All are welcome. Pass along to your friends. And we will see you on Monday. Thanks for coming. See you later.